Hello, uh, today we will see the effect of node numbering on a bandwidth of a stiffness matrix. Means how this node numbering is going to affect the bandwidth of the stiffness matrix and what is its effect. So we will see. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, we are having here a stiffness matrix. So how this stiffness matrix is formed? We have solved the examples of stepped bar as well as the composite wall. So what we do over here is we will forming a small stiffness matrices and we will combine together to get this stiffness matrix. Now if you see the property of the stiffness matrix, it has a diagonal elements are non-zero and other elements over here are the zero value as well as in this lower corner we are having zero value. So this matrix having a band over along this diagonal and that, that is called as a banded matrix and it has some bandwidth. If this non-zero values goes on increasing up to these rows then bandwidth also increases. This will happens because of when there is more number of degrees of freedom we will get more values over in this region so that bandwidth goes on increasing. So it is a global stiffness matrix it is to be multiplied by displacement matrix and then it is equal to force matrix. So we are using Gauss elimination method to solve this matrix equation. So bandwidth is more than this Gauss elimination method requires more time to solve and if the bandwidth is low means only small region of the band if we get means few rows are having non-zero values then time required to solve the solve using this Gauss elimination is less. So if you see here time required for solving the equations using Gauss elimination is more if bandwidth is more or we can say that if bandwidth goes on increasing time required for solving is also increases okay so this is called as a bandwidth now we will see how this node numbering effect on this bandwidth now here is one example of plane stress model of short beam and it has some small thickness that's why it is considered under plane stress condition. It has divided into a number of elements. So if you see 1, 2, 3 likewise we have given the element numbering. Similarly in this also we have given the element numbering. Both A and B are the same example, same model but numbering is given differently. Now if you see observe in figure A nodes are given numbers horizontally means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 likewise and in the B figure the numbers are given vertically 1, 2, 4 up to 5 to 8 likewise these are given vertically. In the same model we have given horizontally numbering and vertically numbering. So these are the two types of node numbering horizontally labeled and vertically labeled. Now if you observe element number 1 from this figure that is horizontally labeled and if we observe element number 1 from vertically labeled. So we will get the nodes which is related to element number 1 are 1, 2, 9 and 10. And for vertically labeled 1, 5, 2 and 6. Now this is having maximum node number is 32. In the both cases we will get 32 node number. And as it is a two dimensional problem we will get 2 degrees of freedom at each node. So the maximum now if you see here. This is the stiffness matrix we will get having 
64 by 64 stiffness matrix 1 to 64 columns 1 to 64 rows now if we observe this element number 1 this uh, node number 1 is associated with first two rows and first two columns of this stiffness matrix because one node having two degrees of freedom so it is associated with 1 2 similarly if we observe 10 number so it is related with 19 and 20 column with 19 and 20 rows means element number 1 in which nodes 1 is related with 10 number node node 1 is related with node number 10 so that we will get the matrix of 1 to 20 uh, columns and 1 to 20 rows so we will get bandwidth of this element number 1 is 20 and bandwidth of element number 1 in vertically labeled 1 is associated with 1 2 column and 1 2 rows and 6 number element uh, 6 number node is associated with 11 and 12th column with 11 and 12th rows so if we are getting the bandwidth over here is 12 so if you see the node numbering affect on this bandwidth means if we change the node numbering its bandwidth is also going to change okay now how it is going to affect on the so solution we will see now we are going to uh, calculate the bandwidth for element number 10 so in last figure here is the element number 10 which is associated with 4, 5, 12, 13 and here it is the 10 number node associated with 13, 17, 14 and 18. So these are two different node numbering systems. Now we will observe for this node number 10. We have written here the node numbers. Then this is node number 10 in vertically labeled. Now, bandwidth is defined by in bracket d plus 1 into f where d is largest difference between nodes in a single element means if we are observing this element number 10 largest node is 13 and smallest node is 4 so d is calculated by 13 minus 4 that is 9 and f is number of degrees of freedom at each node so we are having this 2d problem so degrees of freedom is 2 so bandwidth of this element is calculated by 9 plus 1 into 2 that is 20 similarly for the same element in the vertically labeled we will get largest difference is equal to 18 minus 13 that is 5 plus 1 into degrees of freedom 2 we will get the 12 node number bandwidth now if we observe for the same element we have reduced the bandwidth in the vertically labeled means if you see if you solve this problem using gauss elimination method then time required to solve this problem is less and time required to solve this problem is more so we can conclude that as the node numbering changes bandwidth is going to change and bandwidth change will change uh, represents your time required to solve the problem so most of the cases we use gauss elimination method so less the bandwidth less time required for to solve the problem so what is the conclusion we can draw from here node numbering plays an important role in this uh, solving the problem and reduced the bandwidth so nodes should be labeled across the shortest dimension to achieve smallest nodal difference in the any one element so this is the conclusion indicates for node number we will get smallest difference between the nodes if we label this system along the shortest length I mean this is the shortest length of the column as compared to this longest so we can number this along 
shortest distance so that we will get the reduced bandwidth and reduced bandwidth will uh, will reduce your time required to solve the problem so from this conclusion we can say that node numbering affects on the bandwidth and that effect will be uh, converted to time required to solve the problem thank you